Hey guys, I'm Heather, and if you're new to the channel, um, I want to invite you to subscribe and hang out with us. We are on 73 acres building on an off-grid homestead up here in northern Idaho. And we're trying to find an easier way to feed our chickens with some pretty aggressive roosters. Um, one of them is going to go off to freezer camp, um, but we're going to hold on to the other one until we have a replacement rooster for him. So we're looking at a way where we can feed them without having to go in there constantly, and maybe this will help some of that issue. Hence, I started looking for different ways that we can do that and what would be the easiest and quickest for us to do up here. And I found this trash can method. So we are going to put this together and show you how it works. Okay, so what you wanna do is pick up some of these pipes that have a male end and a female end. Um, that are 45s and pick whatever size trash can that you want. I got this one at Walmart. It was about $15 um, and it will definitely hold at least a, a bag and a half, maybe two bags. So you want to take your smaller end, your um, female end, and you want to pick where you actually want to put it. You want to leave a little bit of a space underneath here so that your grain can fall down. And then you want to just draw a circle around. Gotta brace your trash can because it's round and it rolls. It's a pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just want to draw around creating your circle. And it's still rolling. Get in there. Don't find me, bro. Probably why nobody else showed cutting these because it makes you look silly. Okay, so you want to just draw your circles. I'm going to do three. I bought three of these. And I'm going to space them a little bit apart so that three chickens can eat at once. And then you want to use um, your box cutter. Make sure you have a new blade on there. This is my favorite. I got it at um, Harbor Freight. And it closes up easily. And it has this little thing so I can just slip it onto my, in my pants pocket. But this one's my favorite. And then you just want to very carefully cut around each one of these circles. So that's what we're going to do next. Once you do your basic first cut, then you can very easily come through and just skin this to make a better circle so that your um, these parts just fit right in. So just be real careful and cut away from yourself. Okay, so you want to make sure that the male end of um, your fitting, your 45, um, is on the outside. And you just push this in. So it gets all the way to there and you want to make sure that it goes in like this you want this part pointing down and you can I saw people that actually caulked around these and sealed them and and kind of glued them in place um, but you actually don't have to do that 
And if you want to ever take this apart and like really clean the inside of your trash can, you don't actually want to do that. So nobody talked about um, having issues with rainwater or anything like that getting in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give that a try and see how it works. We'll just fill this with seed. And what happens is the seed goes down around the bottom. Your chickens stick their faces in here and they're able to peck the feed. And as they get take the feed, the rest of it just kind of continues to flow down. So they have access to their food at all times. There should be quite a bit less waste because they're not kicking it around, kicking it out of their pen where they actually can't get to it. And uh, that's actually really important because feed has gotten very, very expensive. So I'm going to go dump the remainder amount of feed that I have. Uh, I do need to run to the store and pick up some more. Um, but we're going to dump this in and see how they like it. Come on, let's go check it out. Okay, one thing you want to make sure is that your feed never gets lower than um, the bottom part of those um, connectors, those 45s. And uh, if you look in the little holes, you can see where the grain gets all the way up there. And they can easily poke their heads in and get their grain. So let's see how they like it. From what I understand, sometimes this is intimidating for your chickens when you first put it in, but just leave it in there. Don't give them any other feed and they'll come to it and have absolutely no problem. Let's see how ours like it. Okay, so I would have to say at this point, one thing that I would have done different is made my holes higher up so that the chickens don't actually have to bend down to get into it. Um, so that's one thing that I would do different. Make sure that you, I would say at least come up maybe six inches off the base of your trash can. The other thing that was mentioned is that the chickens will like to roost on top of the trash can. So you'll constantly be having to clean that off. So just be prepared for that. Make sure that you get a lid that locks down because with them jumping up and down off of it, it could fall over and you definitely don't want to spread your chicken feed all over the place. So I have to say right now, these girls are actually already getting grain out of it. I think this is gonna work really well. I'm probably gonna get a bungee cord and actually bungee my top on, even though I have a locking uh, lid. This is a very cheap Walmart brand trash can. And, you know, I just don't want to take that risk of my grain going everywhere. So, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to help us check one thing off of our list we'll, for the morning chores. We'll be able to just come in here and collect eggs and replace bedding and that kind of stuff. And they should always have access to feed. One of our next videos, we're going to be doing an automatic waterer, so make sure that you subscribe and you share these videos and you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, but make sure you come back so you can see our automatic waterers. Thanks for hanging out. Bye!